What's up guys, we just bought a storage locker. We paid $100 for this locker. We're gonna open the door right now. It is a decent little locker for 100 bucks. Uh, we definitely saw that Raiders hat and then this box down here says action figures on it. So that was another reason why we bought it. Um, we'll break into this and show you some of the stuff we found. All right, so first we got this bag of clothes. Um, I don't see anything that jumps out at me. That's Adidas. This is something we'll definitely go through when we get home. And then this bag will sell too. This bag will be pretty good money. Put that over there on the cart. A basket, a basket of clothes. Again, you know, you can always find good clothes. We're going to have to just go through this. Like there's a Bronco shirt. Hard to tell. So we will go through that later as well. Backpack here. This backpack is full. Let's bring it out here into the light and see yeah. what's in this backpack. Nothing in that. Books, which if they're for school, they couldn't be good. If they're like college. So we'll have to see what these books are, but these could be good. Books can make you some pretty good money. Yeah, so we'll go through that book. Um, that book could be good right there. We'll have to look it up. All right, we'll go through that bag later as well, but initially it looks like books. There's some rocks. Always need some rocks. I'm not sure what that's all about. There's some tape. There's a lot of this tape in here. A little die cast police car. We'll throw that over there. We also saw this Raiders hat, which it's in really good condition. It's still got the tags on it. I mean, that's an easy $20 plus back right there on a $100 locker. So, um, already a fifth of the way back. So, this is what I love about it. I did not see this tool setting on top in here, but I did see this bag. So, let's see what all kinds of tools are in this bag. Got it. Oh, those pictures back there, too. So, we got a Hyper touch, little mini, uh, little impact, some headphone or ear earphones. This bag full of tools right here. So tools always do good. We'll just have to go through them. Some paint and stuff down in there. So we'll go through that bag. That sucker's heavy. So I just kicked this cooler right here, and it is heavy. So that means it's full. Let's see what's in here. On the side, a little couple water bottles, some cleaner, notepads. Oh, comics! Comics, good. Some comics in there, so that's good. We'll definitely go through these comics. Awesome. Nice. Anime. That's the Anime. kind of stuff you want to find. Some comics in there. So we'll put that over there. And lock it back up. I got it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. All right, there's this little tote right here. It looks like he did some kind of, he might have done like custom paint or something. This is a, it's got a soldering gun and a light, a test, a couple test lights in there. So nothing great, but that stuff will sell in a yard sale. A little soldering gun. A couple of cool pit Harley pictures. I don't know if they're worth anything, but they'll definitely sell at a yard sale. Someone will want those. A couple bucks each, maybe. Alright. Yeah. So I also saw this bag, and I saw this handle sticking out. Don't know what it is. We're going to find out right now. It's a lightsaber. Lightsaber. We love nerd stuff. We love Star Wars <laughs> stuff. What if there's some like, cosplay in here? That'd be awesome. Heavy? It's not heavy. But this bag alone, this bag alone is good money. That's good. Hold that. Let's see what this is. Helmets. That's like a tactical helmet. Like you can put your GoPro on there. I might nice. Need. Some, yeah, tactical. Look at that. Tactical. slight like army stuff in there. That's cool.
Yeah, so we're gonna have to go through. This is like tactical army stuff for and and gear. So we'll go through that a little bit more, but that'll be a good find. That's, that bag alone, like I said, will sell All right. for good 30, 40 bucks. Easy. So we got this big throw blanket in here. It's actually a, a United States Marines Semper Fi blanket. So uh, that's gonna be worth a lot of money. These blankets do really well when they're themed like that. These boxes, um, probably the main reason we got this is for these boxes, even though I think we're already into the profit between the blanket, the hat, and the clothes. Um, let's break into this first box. Let's see a Vans box, some more. Another hat, a Jordan hat. There's shoes in here. Some vans, some nice vans. Uh, they got a little bit of color. You know, my kids might want those, I don't know. <laughs> a Jordan hat, it's not in the best shape, but it's still Jordan. Uh, we got some old Converse in here. Converse All-Stars, they're like leather though. Some more paint, so or and some dress shoes. I'm not sure about those. So that's mainly shoes. We'll put that on the cart. Next box. Let's hope, we're hoping for video games or toys, guys. Let's see. We got toys. I see a Star Wars toy in there. We got a access denied. We got Grogu in there. So we love Grogu. Little Darth Vader clock. And I see action figures. There's another lightsaber. And we got. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. What's he from? He's from uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. No, Game of Thrones. Game Sorry, of Game of Thrones. Thrones. And we got Kylo Ren. So we got some good toys in here. Um, a couple Hot Wheels this out into the light I mean so basically it's toys this will be a good box right here I love toys you guys know that all right we've got a suitcase here it is full let's see if we can figure out what the zipper is on this side okay, like this little thing huh? it's backwards. Turn it sorry we're having trouble with the uh, zipper all right <laughs> <Can't get this laughs> Here we go. Jacket. Anime oh, jackets, anime. that's cool. Oh, I have a son that might want that though. Yes. <laughs> Some more jackets. This is a shirt. Star Wars Star Wars shirt. So more clothes. They look still have good themes on them. Yeah. Eat your fruit eat your Careful what you eat say. your fear. <laughs> Some more Star Wars. Nothing old though. That I can see, but at a yard sale, that stuff does really good for us. Worst case scenario. All right, we got this big box right here. Let's see if it's heavy or not. Big box. It's, uh, not too heavy. It's full of toys, though. Oh, they look like they could be good. Score! We got the Millennium Falcon. Some more Star Wars ships. Some wings to a big jet. To, look at that. Damn. That's a what's his name ship. Got a poster in there. So this box is gonna turn out to be our money. That Millennium Falcon right there is gonna be really good. Even if it's not the original one, uh, the fact that it's a full, you know, the, the bigger Millennium Falcon. Even if it's from even if it's from the 90s, it's worth money. So that is a really good box for us right there. All right, guys. Here's one of the boxes that we. Mikey's action figures. This is the reason we bought this locker. Let's see what's in here. So we see a US flag on top. Yeah. Just thought that's Star that's a Rays ship. Um see G.I. Joe. Nothing old, but there's some stuff in the box, so that's always good. Not sure what that is. Dark side blades, so those are probably knives. That's a Star Wars ship as well. Another Star Wars. Trying to set. 
here's a nice little action figure, Star Wars special action figure set. That's going to Kenner. Even though it's newer, that's going to be a nice little sale right there. But if I don't keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's another box down here. We're going to have to get this out and then look through that. So let's get this. We got so action yeah, figures, guys. It looks like he repaired these. Some of these are going to be better than others. There's Darth Maul. Some of the stuff is from the 90s, it's, which is not going to be great. But, you know, you can lot it up and still make some money on it. That's old. G.I. Joe, I think he's really loose figure. So, maybe there's a Boba Fett in there. Mm -hmm. That's a newer one, though. But still, um, there's still definitely good money there. A little, I his name, Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll put that little tub, that little box in the tub over there. So our plan is to break these boxes down so we have more time, guys. So and this is probably like a poker set or something. Son of a... No, it's not. Predator. Those are NECA, too. That's money. NECA Predator figures. Sweet. One, two, three, four. Four big ones and then a small one. Sweet. Sweet. All right, guys, this is the second action figure box. I did have to tear the tape open. I forgot my knife, so I tore it open. So we haven't opened it yet. We just got the tape off. Got a Mandalorian Pez dispenser. Oh, this has got some signatures on it, whatever this is. Oh, this is just a... Oh, no, it's cool. not signatures, though. Had me hoping for a second. Some glasses. Look at that. There you go. Oh, Someone's that's favorite. my favorite. Pennywise. <gasps> yeah. Little NECA Pennywise figure right there. That's nice, that's nice fun. We got Friday 13th, Jason. Nice. And that goes, also, ah, can't touch that. Touch it. Oh, cool. So that's money, these are money right here. Nice. There. We got Black Series Darth Vader, the back box damage though, so that always, got uh, Black Series uh, Obi-Wan and Luke and Leia. This, this must be Han. Yep, so we got a nice little set right nice. there. Oh, that's Black Series. Titanium Series, so that's actually pretty good. What else do we got? A little Crush the Rebellion truck. Oh, Atari uh, oh, Pac-Man. Pac huh. My favorite. Atari is not the best, but it's starting to make a little... We got uh, a little, another little car here. This is a Darth Maul Rubik's Cube puzzle. Not sure that that's worth anything, but still pretty cool. From the 90s. What do we got here? Awesome book. Well, that goes to a TIE Fighter. So we'll put that in big box. Probably in that big box, hopefully. Got another metal there. Another mm. military metal of some sort. Of thing. A sticky note set. That's nothing special. That's a yard sale. Star Wars: The Visual Dictionary. Obi Wan Kenobi. Something. So these are just like little CDs or something. I'm not sure that they're worth anything. So a lot of that stuff from the 90s is not worth a lot. Ooh, some old car Jose Canseco cards. It looks like it's a generic set though, so I'll do a little research on it, but. Don't think that's going to be worth a lot. We'll see. Jose Canseco. A couple Some more comics. Star Wars comics. The Dark Side War. So Dark Seed? And then the Marvel oh, book. Cool. Nice. Nice little. That was a great box. Alright, guys. So we're going to hope that this tub is similar to those toys boxes because it was with them and hopefully there's some toys in here too. Um, so I'll take it out or? Looks like there's a sign in there, there's a, a couple targets, some mirrors, clothes, looks like it's mostly clothes down in there. So it's not toys, um, there's a couple mirrors. No trespassing sign. <laughs> we'll have to dig deeper into that one once we get it out. All right, guys. So it's a couple weeks later. I just wanted to close out this video. I never did. 
Um, for the most part, that was a good locker. I did sell those, most of those action figures on whatnot, made over $200 on that. I have those Stormtroopers listed on eBay right now for $179.99. We have a couple other things that are listed on there. Nothing too great. I ended up keeping some toys. Now, this Kylo Ren right here, he's actually very valuable. He's worth like 130 bucks, but I'm going to keep him for a while. This is also a like a variant uh, Star Wars figure. It was not Game of Thrones. Um, he's worth about 80 bucks, but I'm going to keep him for a while. And then these titanium uh, Star Wars figures I'm keeping as well, just because they're not worth a lot in the box condition. So I'm just going to keep them for my collection right here, as you can see. So all in all, I think I'm going to make well over $300 profit on that locker. It all depends on some of the smaller stuff that's going in the yard sales. Because we have a yard sale twice a year, and we do really good at those sales. You know, we blow out those clothes for a dollar piece. But there are a lot of clothes, so it adds up. Hope you guys like the video. We're getting, we're still new at these storage lockers. Um, some of the footage isn't the best, but we're working on it. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Keep hustling. Find that next treasure.